Good morning, students. Welcome to our maths class. We were in you know, exercise 4.3, that is decimals. Let us see page number 62. Decimals, exercise 4.3. Page number 62. Fill in the blanks you know, to make the statements true, they said. We have to write them. The correct answers to make them true. Okay now, let us see. They have given 10 pies. 10 pies is equal to dash rupees is the question for us. 10 pies is equal to dash I mean blank rupees. How many rupees are there? That is the question for us. Children, do you know how many pies make 1 rupee? How many pies make 1 rupee? One rupee. That is our question. Yes, one rupee having hundred pies. One rupee having hundred pies. One rupee is equal to hundred pies. Here, ten pies given. That pies are we should convert into rupees. That pies are should convert into rupees. For that, we should divide that pies are with hundred. Why should we divide with hundred? Because 1 rupee is equal to 100 pies. That's why we should divide with 100. So, that 10 pies is equal to 10 by 100. The 10 pies is equal to 10 by 100. Last 0, last 0 cancelled. Remaining is 1 by 10. You know, 1 by 10, denominator number having 1 times 0. 1 by 10 means in the denominator that number having only how many zeros are there only 1 times 0 is given for us ok that's why point should be arranged in the numerator after one digit point should be arranged in the numerator part after one digit why after one digit only point should be arranged because the denominator is having only 1 times 0 of course, starting is 1. That's why. If denominator is having 2 times 0, suppose, that, that is 1, 0, 0. That means 100. 2 times 0 are there. Then, in the numerator, we will put a point after 2 digits. That also we will see in the down part. Now, here, 1 by 10. Only 1 time 0 is there. That's why point should be arranged after the 1 digit. That's why answer is that is 1 I have written after 1 I have placed a point after the point nothing is there there that is a 0 I have placed here. finally our answer is 0 0.1 rupees what for 10 pies 10 pies is equal to 0 0.1 rupees that is based on 1 rupee is equal to 100 pies in the same way second one Second one, 45 pies. Here is 10 pies, but here is 45 pies. Then now, 45 by 100. Am I correct? Then here, how many zeros are there? Starting is 1 now, and how many zeros? 2 zeros are there. That's why, point should be arranged after 2 digits. Now, 5, 4, after the 4, point. That's why, 5, I have written 5 as a first digit next the second digit i have placed with four after the two digits i have placed point after the point here nothing is there that's why i have written zero finally i got 0 0.45 rupees 0 0.45 rupees that is only called as 45 pi is equal to 0 0.45 rupees okay that is 1 rupee is equal to 100 pies. We have used to do it. That is division with 100 we have got. That is just because of this information. Is it clear for you children? Here 1 times 0. So that's why in the numerator after 1 digit only point. Here 2 times 0. That's why in the numerator after 2 digits I have to place point. Like that we have to get. I hope it is clear for you. Next question. Third one. 2 rupees and 60 pies. And we are using for mixed fractions. Am I correct? 
5 and 1 by 2. That means 5 side of that only 1 by 2. Mixed fraction. Same like this one. 2 and 60 pi. That means 2 and means mixed fraction I have used here. 60 by 100. Why 100 is used? Here pi is there now. 60 pi. Pi I am going to convert into rupees. Whenever pi is going to pi size is going to change it as rupees, then pi size should be divided with 100. That is we have learned in this one two answers. Now third answer two that two rupees as it is and means 60 by pi size given that's why by 100. Then finally you know two that two as it is taken first first two as it is written. Then 60 by 100. How many zeros are given here? Two zeros. So point should be after two digits. That's why first to first zero is the first digit. From right to left we have to count. From right to left we have to count. Zero is the first digit. Next digit is a six. After the six I have to place point. Because after two digits I have to place point. Because two zeros number. 100 is there for us. Am I correct? That's why 2 rupees 60 pies that is 1 rupee is equal to 100 pies that knowledge we have used for it. Next one 5 rupees and 75 pies same like that 5 rupees and means here this mixed fraction only 75 by 100 then that 5 is as it is taken since we have two zeros of course starting should be one now then the point should be arranged after two digits. Am I correct? Then five is the first two digit, seven is the second digit. After two digits, I should place point. Of course, already starting part of five rupees so already written by us. Now finally, five rupees and seventy-five pies for us. That is only equal with uh, five rupees and seventy-five pies. Now it is one rupee is equal to hundred pies knowledge we have used. To complete this answer. Children, did you understand the method of doing this? So, these sums you don't write in the uh, textbook where the exercise is given. These sums you have to write in your classwork because some lengthy answers are there for us. Just one bit answer we cannot write for it. We should write this information fully. So, you go and write in the classwork only, mass classwork. Let us see other bits are given with another information. See here, fifth bit. Already four bits are over. Now fifth bit in exercise 4.3 only. Now fifth bit to 55 centimeters should convert into meters. Then rupees to paisa so relations already over. Now here centimeters to the meters. That only I have written. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Now, 55 centimeters is equal to 55 should be divided by 100 because we have to convert into meters. To convert the centimeters into meters, we should divide with 100 because that knowledge 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters we are using here. Okay. Then, 55 by 100 gives you this number that is called here two zeros are given of course starting should be one we have discussed whenever two zeros and starting one is there there must be a, a chance of placing point in the numerator that to after two digits am i correct so this last five i have written first to first another five also i have taken there two digits are written after two digits i have placed point after the point starting, here nothing is there, that's why 0 is placed. So answer is 0 0.55, 0 0.55 meters. That is based on the knowledge, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters, we have done it. Is it clear for you? The next question, it is a meters only given, but answer they want to see in you know, kilometers. Again, you know, the matter will be changed. This matter, 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. All these are to be memorized. That means you have to remember forever. So, 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. 
Now, this given question is in meters, 295 meters. This we are going to convert into kilometers. So, this number is going to be divided by 1000. Why? Because there are 1000 meters carrying in a 1 kilometer. That's why. So, we have three zeros on the starting loop. One is there. So, that 5 should be arranged in the numerator after three digits. Am I correct? So, first digit, second digit, third digit. After three digits, that means after 295, point is placed. After the point, nothing is there. That's why 0 is placed. Final answer is 0 0.295 kilometers. 0 0.295 kilometers. That is equal to 295 meters. 295 meters is equal to 0 0.295 kilometers. With the help of this information, we have done that part. So, all we have to write in your classwork component. Let us see, seventh bit with the same kilometer concept only. Let us see that. 340 meters. This question is given. 340 meters. As we said earlier, meters should convert into kilometers. Then uh, meters should divide with uh, 1000. Because 1 kilometer carries 1000 meters. 340 divided by 1000. Since uh, in the denominator, a number with three zeros and the starting is one, uh, that is 1000, there should be a point in the numerator part uh, that to after three digits, as we discussed earlier. Am I correct? So, we will place point uh, after three digits. First digit is 0, second digit is 4, third digit is 3. From right to left, we should count. Already I have told you, the counting should be from right side to the left side so that point is arranged after three digits and the starting digit here here is nothing there that's why i have placed zero finally we got an answer called 0 0.340 kilometers that is equal to a question given 340 meters is it clear students the conversion of meters to the kilometers centimeters to the meters here paisas to the rupees. This is the procedure with which we have to fill these blanks. But don't write in the textbook uh, in the exercise given. Write all these in the uh, classwork notebook only. I will send you a photo related to this teaching part. Then finally, uh, we have written this uh, information also for this answer part. Because this is the information or the concept we have used to complete this answer. Is it clear students? So with the other part of teaching, we will meet in tomorrow. Okay? Thank you children. Practice service.